So in this video, let's talk about sarcoidosis. So sarcoidosis is a pretty clear diagnosis. So with the symptoms itself, we can diagnose this condition. So this is a multi-system disorder which affects multiple systems like you can see here legs, skin, you know, lungs and lymph nodes and everything is affected, you know, multi-system. And this has an unknown etiology. So the why this is happening, it's, an, it's not an autoimmune condition, it's not an infect, infective condition. There is no reason as to why this condition is occurring. But the most important thing is non-caseating granulomas. Okay, so let's discuss about this later on. So this is usually seen most commonly in young adults, especially Africans. Okay. So this is a small mnemonic to remember the clinical features. So you just take the first three terms, first three letters of this word, SAR, S-A-R. And you can remember that SAR is rhyming with hilar. So there will be bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy as you can see in this chest x-ray below. And his par or pair, that is legs in Hindi, are going to be affected. So you can see these erythema nodules, uh, erythema nodules in here. So these are nothing but tender nodules over your, you know, shins, over under your knees, okay. And the next one, increased calcium, you can remember with CO as elevated CA. So calcium is going to be elevated. And one more thing with SAR that you have to remember is, SAR, uh, you can think it of, think of it as SAR. So when we call somebody SAR, just imagine him being in a, you know, uh, professor role or something so he is there we call him sir because he has aced in something right meet a senior or anybody so he has either aced in age or aced in his uh, you know uh, talent or anything so that's why elevated ace levels so all the things that you have to remember are erythema nodosum so pair bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy so hilar polyarthralgia and uh, because this uh, will be seen in most most conditions, like most uh, things that are affecting your joints, because this is a multi-system disorder, your joints are prone to be affected. Okay. And then hypercalcemia, CO, cal CA, fever, that is a, you know, it's, it's a vague systemic symptom, elevated ACE levels. So ACE, because this is a SIR we are talking about, lupus perneo, again with SAR, sarcoidosis, per per new okay so there are two types of lupus rashes okay so one thing is seen one type of rash is seen in lupus erythematosus sle and the other one this one is lupus per new okay per new per seen in sarcoidosis okay so the difference between these two rashes is that as you can see here the nasolabial folds are spared in sle then her nose is not affected Whereas here, this is going to be a continuous rash. So her nose is also going to be affected. So that is the main differentiating factor between these two rashes. And the last system is uveitis. So uh, your, your eyes are also going to be affected. Iris inflammation is going to be seen. So the main features again, let's go through it again. SAR, erythema nodosum for pair, hilar lymphadenopathy, hilar, polyarthralgia, hypercalcemia for COCA, fever, elevated ACE levels because this SAR is, you know, an ACE and perneo, lupus perneo for per. Alright. There are some conditions we have to remember which uh, are classified by this condition, by sarcoids, sarcoidosis. So those three are Lofgren syndrome, Michalik syndrome and Heifold syndrome. So Lofgren syndrome, you can remember it as L-O-F-G, right? So just cut the F out, L-E-G. So just remember with the term, with the leg, you know, with leg. So erythema nodosum is the main factor that you have to remember for this. So erythema nodosum, as we have seen earlier, is seen under your knees, right? Uh, over your shin. So that's why your leg is affected here. Therefore, leg is affected in Lofgren syndrome. The next one is Michalix. So when you're licking something, when you're licking anything, be it an ice cream, be it a chocolate, anything, you lick with your tongue and your you know eyes are also having fun because you're looking at something that you like right so your parotid and your lacrimal glands are being affected here so the this is similar to Sjogren's okay so her parotid glands here as you can see are uh, enlarged and her lacrimal gland is also enlarged so this will be seen in Michalik syndrome this is due to uh, this can be due to sarcoidosis tuberculosis or lymphoma it can be anything 
and then the last one is Hereford syndrome. So Hereford syndrome, just think of it as you know somebody, किसी किसी ने फोड़ा है, you know it's a Hindi term where फोड means hurt or punch your face, okay? मैं तुम्हारा मुंह फोड़ दूँगा, something like that. So this is like punching one's face. So as you can see in this image, he is being punched, right? So इसका मुंह कोई तो फोड़ रहा है. So somebody is punching his face. So when his face is being punched, the main things that are being you know affected is his are his eyes you know you can see this black color this discoloration red color discoloration around his eyes and he's also having you know his whole face is having an issue here right his whole face is being shifted to another side right so that's what will be seen in this condition so when you break somebody's or fold now somebody's face uh, as you can see the patient will have uveitis the there will be parotid gland enlargement which is a common thing but there will be facial nerve palsy so because as you as we have seen in that image his his face is being you know pushed towards one side and here there is being a big impact his facial nerve is going to be damaged all right so facial nerve palsy uveitis and fever fever is a systemic symptom and parotid enlargement so this is also called uveo parotid fever so whenever you see uveo it means the eyes are being affected and that means kisi ne foda hai tumhara muh okay so that's all about sarcoidosis. Thank you.